In this video, I'll be showing you the secret to that clean word by word slide up plus fade in in DaVinci Resolve. And I want to give a big shout out to Supercut for discovering this. But enough talking, let's just jump into DaVinci Resolve. So the first thing you'll do is just add a text plus effect. And now you'll just stylize it to your liking. So just click on this one when you're ready to jump into Fusion. And the first thing we'll do in here is just click on Ctrl C on the text here. And then Ctrl Shift V to paste this as an instance. The instance is just when we change something in this one, it will change in the other text effect as well. So if I click on one on the the instance we'll be able to see it in the other window and that will be handy later now we will just go into the instance and then go into the shadings tab here and then right click on enabled here and check on the instance which just make it so if we do anything in this one it won't affect this one now we can de-enable it and then just go into five here then right click on it and choose the instance for this one and then enable it and then we'll check on this box which is the border fill and then we'll go to the level and instead of character we'll choose word which make it so it's word by word and not character a character when we will animate it later so for the horizontal we will just drag it down a little bit so we can see there is a space between them here and then we will do the exact same thing for the vertical like this now we will go back into the text here and then just right click on it and then choose follower now go into the modifiers and then go to shading and then go to 5 and then enable it go to keyframe 25 then just keyframe the opacity and go to frame zero and drag it down to zero so if we connect this to the blue input which is the mask template here we can see it fades up and then we can go into the timing and just drag the delay up a little bit and then we can see it fades on one by one and then uh, go to the transform and make it word instead of characters so it's word by word and not character by character then you will just go to frame 25 keyframe the offset and go back into the follower and go to frame zero and just drag it down a little bit so it uh, slides up now we will just open the spline editor if you hadn't opened it it's up here then just click on zoom to fit and then Control a to mark all of them right click and then choose ease and then out cubic and this is just to get a smooth animation now we can just go into the settings and then just enable motion blur to give it that extra smoothness and that's everything for today's video if you learned something please make sure to subscribe and if you're interested in some free plugins check the link down below